Today I have this canvas. It's 11 by 14. Mine came in a two pack from Five Below. You can get these at most craft stores, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. Just wait for the sales. They're not that expensive. Sometimes you're lucky and you can grab them at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be working with Fall Project tissue paper. This is from Roy Cycled, and I'm gonna be cutting off the section that has the butterflies. I'm gonna be concentrating on that portion and set the other part aside for another project. This tissue can be found at chocolateofancy.com. So I'm making a plan and I'm gonna cut the rest of the tissue paper to fit the top of this canvas board. I'm gonna be placing a block underneath the canvas as this is a stretch canvas and I don't want it to have much movement. So I'm gonna keep that underneath the areas that I'm working on and I'm gonna grab my one hour enamel and some saran wrap and I have my brayer. I'm gonna do this in sections. I'm gonna start by doing half using my two inch premium brush I'm gonna apply the one hour enamel and then lay the paper down. I'm gonna put the saran wrap on top and I'm gonna use my brayer. Now remember I have that block underneath so that I can have that strong surface underneath as I'm trying to work out the wrinkles from the tissue paper. And then I'm gonna to move to the other half. Again, I'm gonna place my one hour enamel clear down. Put my saran wrap. Use the brayer to work out the wrinkles. And this just makes sure that you adhere in all areas. And you can see I'm just shifting this thing around because I have this board underneath that I wanna Keep where I'm working as it's giving me that strong surface underneath. Now I'm going to do a final coat of the one hour enamel across the entire board and then I'm going to set that aside to dry. So I'm gonna be working with this stencil. I picked it up at studior12.com. They have a lot of beautiful stencils to choose from. And it says, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. I'm just gonna be using the Amazing Grace part with some black paint and a dabber. And I'm just taping off where I don't wanna hit on the stencil. And this is just a dabbing motion. You do not need a lot of paint. And remember, I have that board underneath to keep my canvas from moving up and down as it is a stretch canvas. Once I lift my stencil up, I'm going to take an art brush and connect all my letters as this was a broken up, you know, it looks broken up. This is not necessary, but it does look pretty when you pull all the cursive letters together. Then I'm gonna hit that with a blow dryer, just for some quick drawing so that I can place my stencil back down and I'm going to stencil the grace part. Again, taping off where I don't wanna hit with my black paint making sure my board is right underneath. And again, my dabber, I'm loading very little bit of black paint so I get no bleed through. I'm just taking my time dabbing. And then again, connecting my letters with an art brush. I'm really enjoying this paper. 
I love the blue butterfly at the bottom. So I grabbed this particular stencil from uh, Hobby Lobby. It's a The brand is Show Off, and it just had a scrolly uh, image to it. And I'm going to use a roller on this one and my one hour uh, and my uh, snow owl. Again, I hit that with a blow dryer so I could continue the stencil towards the bottom. It's amazing what stencils can do in just taking your image to the next level. It's kind of like a little mixed media. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, brushes, tissues, paper, or transfers, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching.